Before the stemming designation, um, patients would go directly to the closest facility capable of taking care of somebody with chest pain or having a heart attack, which is almost any emergency department uh, that has a physician in it. Now, uh, much like a trauma, we can have a pre-notification of a specific problem that the patient is having, i.e. a STEMI. Um, we can mobilize a team that's capable and prepared to take care of that patient. The emergency department, the emergency room nurses, notify the cath lab, make sure that the table is ready for them, uh, have the invasive cardiologists uh, ready and available to receive the patient, have the patient registered, uh, and just eliminating some of the processes that would have to take place uh, if the patient were just to walk in. With that pre-notification, um, just more things are in place. Uh, everybody knows what the patient is before he arrives. They know what their jobs are, and the patient gets processed faster and more efficiently. It's very much like our trauma system that we've been doing for a long time. If a trauma patient's coming in, we know we need x-ray, we need uh, lab, we need a physician, we need nurses, we need resources standing by, we need a surgery suite ready, and we need a surgeon. STEMI is the same way. We need an invasive cardiologist, we need a cath lab ready to go, we need an emergency room physician in case uh, they're unstable and need to stay in the emergency department. The nurses need to know what to do, how to prepare this patient, and are mentally prepared to take care of this patient. The emergency department is always staffed with a full complement of nurses and physicians. The cath lab does run um, on a more business-like schedule but the invasive cardiologists are on call with a 20-minute response time, and the cath lab is on call also, and that's 24-7.